The next companion that we'll mention is in a unique category. He is from the small number of men that actually had the name Muhammad during the pre-Islamic days of ignorance. His name is Muhammad ibn Maslama. Muhammad ibn Maslama. He was born 22 years before the start of Revelation. He was a large, tall, black man with a strong build and he was bald. He fought in the Battle of Badr, the Battle of Uhud, the Battle of the Trench, and all following battles alongside the Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He did not fight in the Battle of Tabuk, and this is because the Prophet, Alayhi Salam, placed him over Medina to guard Medina during the battle. And he was known to be firm in battle. When others may retreat, he was firm during the battle. He also had sons that were also companions, Ja'far, Abdullah, Sa'ad, Abdurrahman, and Amr. He also had a brother, Mahmoud, who was also from the companions, and he was martyred during the battle of Khaybar. And the Prophet, alayhi salatu wasalam, prophesied his death before he died. Now, Muhammad ibn Maslama was given some tremendous advice from the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wasallam. The Prophet, alayhi salam, one day presented him with a sword. And he said, indeed, there will be fitna, there will be trials and tribulations and splitting and differing. So when the fitna occurs, take this sword and go to Mount Uhud and beat on the mountain until the sword breaks and then go sit in your home until the oppressor comes to harm you or until death comes to you. This hadith is collected uh, by Imam Ahmed. So therefore, when the fighting occurred between the Muslims, Muhammad ibn Maslamah did not get involved in the fitna at all. And he died 43 years after the migration at the age of 77. May Allah Ta'ala be pleased with Muhammad ibn Maslamah.